everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I'm here to introduce you to two lovely projects using Premier's Home Raffia yarn. And this yarn is 100% cellulose rayon and it's 123 um, ounces and 87 yards per ball. And it's a medium weight number four yarn and the suggested hook is a size H or eight and the knitting needles are US nine. And it's a hand wash dry flat yarn and it comes in seven beautiful colors. So the two projects um, that I'm gonna show you and I'll be taking you to a close up to show you one or the other. So make sure that you watch either or video um, uh, that we have and the links to everything will be listed below. So the first one I want to talk about is the beach bag which I absolutely love. It started at the bottom and then it's worked up the sides and once you uh, figure out the first row um, then you just continue on and then you make the handles and then you make these roses separate and then applique them on. So the size of this is 14 inches by 17 inches and it requires um, five balls of um, it's called uh, azurite and then um, embers one ball for the flowers and kaleidoscope so then the matching hat is also a simple project it's called a sun hat and it is 17 inches from the um, you know the crown down and then 22 inches across and it's really uh, very beautiful and it's a nice uh, combination, the two of them here. And this requires um, five balls of the raffia yarn, which is the azurite yarn, and uh, an F crochet hook. So you start from the top and work down, and it's a um, pretty easy, I would say, skill um, to make. So look for both of these projects, and um, the links to everything are listed below. Thank you very much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Hi everybody, it's Christina from Maggie's Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful sun hat using the raffia yarn from Premier Yarns. This is actually a really easy project. Um, if you've never made a hat before, they can look kind of intimidating, but uh, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to walk you through this. We'll start with our raffia yarn and a uh, size H8 hook and you'll begin by chaining six and then we'll join this to form a ring. So just take your hook, put in that very first chain stitch, grab a loop, pull it through, and then pull that loop through the loop already on your hook. This raffia, it's a little stiff, not as stiff as I thought it might be, but um, it will take you maybe a little while to get used to working with it, but uh, it's such a beautiful color and the texture is really fun too. So once you've got your ring joined, you'll just chain one and then we're going to work 12 half double crochets right in the center of this ring here. So you'll yarn over, go right into the middle of the ring there, grab a loop and pull it through. You have three loops on your hook at this point. We're just going to yarn over and pull through all three of them at once and that's one half double crochet. So it kind of starts like a double but we end it a little differently. So again yarn over, go right down into the ring there, grab a loop, pull it through. You got three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three. So you want to get a total of 12 of these in the center of your ring here. This is the very, very top of your hat right here in the center. So I'm going to finish uh, my 12 half double crochets, then I'll come back and show you how to move on to round two. So here are my 12 half double crochets for my round one. Now, a lot of times when you're working in rounds, then you would join with a slip stitch here and chain up to start the next round. For this hat, however, we're gonna kind of work in a spiral. We're not gonna join our rounds. So to make sure I know where the end of my rounds are, I've got my little handy dandy stitch marker here. I'm just gonna slide it in the top of the last stitch of each round. So that's the last stitch of round one. And then when I come around to round two, I'll just uh, unhook this and put it in the last stitch of round two. For round two, still working in half double crochets, and we're gonna do two half double crochets in each stitch around. So at the end of round one, we had 12. At the end of round two, we'll have 24 half double crochets. So just yarn over, go right in the top of that first half double crochet there, and we'll work two stitches in the same stitch so that we're increasing here. 
So by the end of this round, we will have doubled our stitch count. So I'm gonna go finish round two, and then I'll come back and show you how to move on from here. Here I am almost at the end of round two. You can see I've still got my stitch marker in the last stitch of round one. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out real quick. Worked my two double, two half double crochets in that last stitch. and then mark the last stitch of round two. So you'll just keep moving your stitch marker up in that manner as you work on this project. Now for round three, we're still increasing, but we're not gonna increase in every stitch. Um, we'll start, we'll, we'll increase in the first stitch, so two half double crochets in the first one. But in the next one, we're just gonna do one. We won't be increasing in this one. And then you just repeat that around. In your pattern, it's written in brackets. So you'll just repeat that bracketed part until you reach the end of the round, and you should have 36 half double crochets at that point. And then the next few rounds are very similar, but the number of stitches that you don't increase in will increase each time. So this was round three. For round four, you'll do uh, two, half double cro half, two half double crochets, so you'll increase but then you'll just do one in each of the next three stitches. So you're not increasing in those three. Then in round five, you'll do two half double crochets and then just one in the next four. And so on through round nine. Let me show you that on the hat here. So you can see here at the top, we've worked, um, you'll work through round nine, which is about right here, and that increases. And then rounds 10 through 22 are the straight part you're just working straight down and that's from about here to down here. Then once you get to um, round 23 you'll work two half double, you'll switch to your smaller hook the size F5 hook and you can see right here where we've worked two half double crochets in each stitch around. So there's two in that stitch, two in that one and then the rest of the brim you just work straight out, working doubles and then singles right here at the edge. Then you can uh, take a piece of milliner's wire, or I think we've got fishing wire used here. See it's clear right there, and you just weave that into the last row and that will help make your brim a little sturdier. So like I said, it's a pretty simple project. The hardest part is the increasing up here, but then uh, this section of the brim you work straight, this section of the uh, you'll work straight so it's uh, a little bit easier than maybe you might first think just by looking at it. Guys if you've got any questions about this project you can certainly ask them down in the comments below and in the description you'll find the links to the pattern and the materials and everything else you'll need for this project. Thanks for watching.